Well, hello there. Didn't see you. Welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Liz, and today you're finding out if I have refinements or round three of Invisalign. Let's go. First of all, I want to fess up that these are not my prescription glasses. They're sitting over there. These are actually anti-blue light ones that I got from AliExpress, but I'm testing them out to see if maybe this is a good style in future because I have another test coming up in April and no doubt my sight has changed again. So yeah, I wanted to know what you guys thought and see for myself how it looks on camera versus in real life. Um, but anyway, enough about the glasses. I have with me round three. That's right, folks. <laughs> I thought I was done. <laughs> Honestly, my mouth dropped open when I first said I would be getting more aligners. Um, there are 28. So we started on box one, which is 1 to 14, and then after those 14, then box two will come with 15 to 28. Um, and then hopefully after that, I will get my refinements. <laughs> but, I mean, there's not that much that has to change. It's just, you know, tweaking here and there what wasn't quite corrected enough. So, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I'm making it out to be. A um, <laughs> little bit of a drama queen. <laughs> but... I do have attachments again. I don't have bands or buttons, thankfully, yay. But I have four attachments on the top and nine on the bottom. But I stayed really still and only had one panic moment when the cheek pad started slipping like onto my tongue. But we were all okay and we moved past it and we just got on with it and I think my teeth look great. Um, he did prescribe me more tooth mousse, which is what I found out is the name of it. Um, I've been calling it a calcium serum, but turns out only one of them is. The other two gives more fluoride back into my teeth, so <laughs> I was wrong there. That's okay, we're all wrong at some point. Um, and it was really nice to see them again after the Christmas New Year period. I should be sitting at work right now, but I had to resign. More on that in another video. I'm still um, kind of smoothing out the chinks, the bumps, whatever the right word is. Anyway, I'm still trying to work everything out and figure out what's going to happen next, but I did have to leave my job. Um, and that's okay, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't the right environment for me, and I accept that. I'm not sad, well, I'm a little bit sad actually, I'm not gonna lie. But, I know that God has a plan for me, and... This is just the end of another chapter, not the end of the book. Um, but... Yeah, back to the Invisalign. I am pleased with how it has gone and I am hoping that by the end of it I have an even better smile. This round is attempt this round is estimated to take um seven months. I am on eight day changes now. I have been on ten day changes since I started, but my dentist finally moved me up to eight. I guess because it's more of a refinement than an actual um say right off the bat start from the beginning sort of thing um so changing every eight days instead of ten it'll be an adjustment but I know it'll be good I am in a lot of pain right now but I'm okay I got to sleep fine enough because I took some medicine and that helped eating has of course, as it is at the start of every Invisalign treatment, 
a little difficult. I have been sticking primarily to soft foods. So this morning instead of toast I had um, peanut butter on fresh bread and then at lunch I had tuna on fresh bread and a wee handful of chippies. I was going to have a mandarin but I was so full by the end of that. Um, so yeah just like going easy on myself I had a little bit of dairy whip as well just to finish it off it wasn't that much. <laughs> um, it is a challenge but it's a challenge that's worth it because I know that I'm getting the best possible smile out of it. I know, yeah, I could have gone with another dentist, but, you know, this guy, he, he treats you right, and he's a perfectionist, but in a good way. Like, he won't, he won't let you walk away with less than the best, so I respect him for sending my scan off and starting a third round because he's been doing it for years and he knows what he is doing and what he's talking about but yep yeah, that is I think all I have to say I will do a t-spot but I will not take my eyeliners out because it hurts like heck right now but I feel beautiful anyway so, I shall love you and leave you, but may your coffee be strong and your Monday special.